Hello YouTube. In my last video I speculated there might have been a connection between the 7.6 earthquake off the Kermit Islands on July 6 and the alignment between Comet Allen and the Moon and the Earth. Okay, since then I actually learned that there was a major swell off the coast of New Zealand which caused flooding in some houses on the coast. And this was actually made the headlines in the paper the same day that actually the earthquake made headlines in the paper. So I decided it's about time to try and plot this on a graph or something and uh, see if there's any connection between these events and see if we can show it more clearly because all the data is all sp spread everywhere and it's very hard to see numbers off the USGS and various other places so this is what I've come up with. Here is a basic chart and this is showing earthquakes and their absolute energy. This is the earthquake on March 11, 2011 in Japan and there's a 9.0 at least that's what they tell us it was a 9.0 uh, this is the one in Chile which was an 8.8 .8 on February 27, 2010 as you can see there's a big difference in the amount of energy released from a 8.8 .8 and a 9.0 uh, these ones are smaller ones these are the range of an 8.1 and a 7.9 this is a 7.6 over here this is the one in the Kermitic Islands you can see how tiny it looks. Okay, so is there any connection between these significant earthquakes and the Sun and Alanin? For example, when we pass between the Sun and Alanin, do we see anything that shows a pattern? And we certainly do. Uh, quite a significant pattern. Okay, so this is definitely occurring in these gaps, but it could also be a coincidence. Um, but we can see more data than just the earthquakes in their true energy levels we can show the total number of earthquakes and that gives us a nice pattern as well okay as you can see we've got more spikes showing up uh, one of them here is also occurring in this alignment okay so it doesn't show up as a major earthquake but there's a surge in earthquake numbers 117 on that day okay and we've got an odd one out here which is this one here. So let's have a look at that in more detail. And we can zoom on this graph and look at it. Okay, there was an earthquake there on that day and 288 earthquakes occurred there at the same time. And, well, we can click down here Moon Allen Alignment. And that's what we've got. That odd one out is actually turns up on the Moon Allen Alignment. So maybe there's something to this. Okay, so we have a look on the date of the Kermitic Islands earthquake, and here it is here, another moon element alignment. Okay, and there's more of these. Uh, let me see, you can see it actually this one here is also occurring in the gap, moon element alignment. Okay, let's have a look ahead to see what's to come. As you can see there's been a few spikes which are close to these alignments. Uh, of course the most notable one is the Kermitic Islands one which is a 7.6 earthquake probably more like an 8 but we'll take them at 7.6 as we're calling it now. Uh, the next one's of course going to be on August 3rd on 8.3.11 so on 8.3.11 I would expect we might have a magnitude 8 or more hopefully not but that's actually, uh, if the pattern continues, that's what you might expect to see, is especially as Alan's getting very close to us, and we're getting very close to the crossing of an element in front of the um, Earth and the Sun, which of course occurs on uh, September 28, and we've got the Moon in alignment there, so that's actually going to be a significant date, a very bad date, probably. Um, we'll wait and see. The first indication of anything happening is actually going to be on 8.3. So, and of course these other dates, like, such as August 31, September 1, around those dates. And of course another unfortunate alignment is going to be on 11.22, November 22nd. So this chart I've got on, on my website, blacksun2012.com. You're welcome to go and have a look and uh, check out the alignments and see if you can see any patterns or no pattern or see what you think. If you've got any comments, leave it in the, below the video, and thank you for watching.